five inches today. Wet and heavy snow. Another 10 foot boss pusher that we use. We use this on our uh, compact wheel loader. It's a Gale AL750. Never used it for snow removal yet, so we'll see how it works. Looks like I can't put you there, you get hit with the windshield wiper. So, you're gonna go over here in the corner. Alright guys, after being able to use the wheel loader in the snow, I can tell you what, it's way better than using a skid steer. Um, just having the weight and the articulation alone is it's just so much better it's it's really good in the snow I'm pretty impressed with it actually um, you can see here I'm having a hard time trying to hook up the uh, pusher <laughs> there's a whole bunch of snow packed in the, the quick attach on the on the pusher itself um, but yeah being you know the machine has diff lock so that's really nice you can lock all four tires um, only going straight though it seems um, but I'm really impressed with this machine and what it's able to do. Um, it would walk all over um, the skid steer I had. And I had a 2012 case SR220, which is a wheeled skid. Um, and I used it last year with the same pusher on there and it just it just didn't it didn't have the ground clearance. It just didn't have the traction. I tried studying the tires on it and it just it just didn't really work out for me. Um, and then trying to compare this to skid steer is like apples and oranges. It's just <laughs> you can't compare the two. Um, you know, I'd almost go on a limb and say this would be, uh, couldn't push as much snow as my big, uh, case 521 in this picture there, but, um, it seems quicker. It seems, because this is a hydrostatic transmission on it, it just, uh, seems a lot quicker off the line. The other, the big loader, I bet it could push more because it weighs more, but it, um, just the, uh, getting up to speed, it seems like it takes a while with the, uh, with the big loader, it just... Not not as responsive as this um, small compact wheeler. Even though this this compact wheel loader is uh, it's like 74 horsepower, but that seems like all you need to push this 10 foot um, blade around. It's not a problem at all. So if you guys like this video, um, give me a thumbs up on this video. Let me know what you like about it. Um, I can do some more like this. I can do some repair videos in the shop. Um, just getting into YouTube and editing and trying to figure all this out. So bear with me while I'm doing this. Um, all right. Enjoy the rest of you guys.